when I arrived in 2015, right off the bat, I tended to focus a lot of my energy on preparing for a potential eruption at Mauna Loa because it was showing signs of unrest. We were seeing uh, elevated counts of earthquakes and uh, steady rates of deformation indicating accumulation of magma in the shallow reservoirs beneath the summit. This began to calm down, actually, in the summer of 2018. And we downgraded the volcano from it. Then the alert level was advisory back to normal. So in, in retrospect, Mauna Loa experienced a spurt of unrest from about 2015 into 2017, and then it really began to slow down. So for some time there, uh, we were, of course, much more focused on Kilauea. Just within the last three or four months, I would say we've seen a return to inflation and slightly elevated earthquake counts at Mauna Loa. So the lull or the quieting we saw in early 2018 has ended, and we're now looking at a slight uptick in activity. And the bottom line is that we are still watching Mauna Loa very carefully, and it could well be moving towards a period of increased concern. But we have yet to raise the alert level from its lowest quiet state to the next step up. We would need to see this pattern continue for a little while longer and then maybe um, have some different characteristics. So what I'm hearing you say is we should not be concerned that Mauna Loa is imminently going to erupt, but make sure I understand that correctly. That's correct. Mauna Loa is not imminently going to erupt, but we are watching it closely. And I think one of the very important things we all as a community learned last summer is that uh, from the onset of activity, of, of intrusion of magma into parts of the volcano, from that onset to actual eruption, that time can be very short. And so this is why we have to maintain careful monitoring vigilance and everyone needs to be prepared. I asked you this question when I talked with you and Jim Kohikawa and Ingrid Johansson last October, but relationship as you see it between the activity at Kilauea and the activity at Mauna Loa. Well, there is some suggestion geologically looking back that uh, during periods of Kilauea quiet, Mauna Loa is more active and vice versa. So now that we're in a period of pause of activity at Kilauea, uh, one could suppose that this might be a time of enhanced possibility of eruption at Mauna Loa. So that factors into our vigilance.